The head honchos from all over the world are meeting in New York this week for the United Nations General Assembly. They're making decisions that are going to affect the future of all of our lives. Yet young people really don't have a voice there. We talked to one guy who's trying to change that. Welcome to the Global Youth Action Network. This <laughs> is our casual. headquarters. Very casual. We are a youth-led, youth-initiated uh, organization. Is everyone here pretty young? Everyone on our Looking staff. Around. Everyone on our staff is under 30. Benjamin Quinto started his Global Youth Action Network after becoming involved with the United Nations as a teenager. His group connects young people from around the world and helps them organize around the issues that affect them, something he feels that the UN should be doing. Do you think that right now young people have a huge voice at the UN? No, not at all, and especially not in the 10 years that I've been there. The United Nations doesn't exactly lobby for young people. It's more like a congress of nation states. Each member country gets its own representative in the General Assembly, and they bring up the issues that are important to them. Why did you want to be part of the UN so badly? Because there isn't peace in the world. There are still as many wars, almost as many wars, raging today as there were when the UN was first created. The people who suffer the most as a result of those wars are young people. Over the years, the UN's been criticized for being slow to respond to conflicts like Rwanda in the 1990s and in Sudan now. Some people have wondered why a powerful country like the United States even needs to take part in the UN. When I first started, I said, how can we give up on the UN given that it's the only institution kind of dedicated to creating world peace? So if we give up on the UN, we give up on our hopes of ever achieving peace. The UN has branches focusing on security, economics, and human rights. They also have a mandate for young people to stay involved. And though there isn't an official assembly for teens, it supports and works with hundreds of programs like Benjamin's. There's been a lot of criticism about the UN, um, a lot of my own criticism that I have about the institution as well. But there is no less of a need for governments and countries to work together to solve the critical issues facing humanity. Jessica Kumari, Channel One News. Go by.